love bugs it's nikki from call me ruby i pray you're having an amazing day or evening let me let you know right off that this video is going to be a little bit more lengthy than the others but listen god gave me so much to unpack and i could not leave anything out so just hang on in there to the end you will be glad you did i want to welcome all my new subscribers welcome 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 and i also want to thank those who have been writing with me from the very beginning much appreciated this is part two of the message i uploaded yesterday entitled it's laughing season and this was a follow-up that came via a dream so last night after god revealed that beautiful message about laughter and joy I finally drifted off to sleep and God gave me a dream about my kingdom spouse. I always get so excited when he does that because y'all know how we get sometimes. We're like, God, can we please dream about our kingdom spouse tonight? Just a little dreamy dream. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. But it's just so much more beautiful when it just happens because God just wants it to. And so upon waking, I knew this dream was a prophetic dream. I wasn't really sure if the Lord wanted me to share this dream because I didn't know if it was just a dream for me. And I said, Lord, if you want me to share this dream, give me a clear sign. And hear me, I said, give me a clear sign that you want me to share this dream. So I log on to my Facebook Messenger and my sister literally sent a message that said, Good morning. The water is really clear and clear water. The water is really clear and clear water. God just has a very unique way of speaking to me. And I always know that it's him giving me his go ahead. Let's get into this dream, shall we? So at the beginning of the dream, me and another female, I want to say it was my sister, but I'm not really sure. But me and another female were in my living room and we were working on a dance. We were dancing to some songs out of nowhere. Unexpected, but expected. Hear that in the spirit. My future husband walks in the door. And it was like I wasn't surprised, but I was surprised because God had revealed to me who this person was prior and that he was on his way. But the way it happened, you all, it was just so sudden. It happened so fast. I'm in the living room dancing and in walks my future spouse. Just like that. I don't even remember him knocking. He literally just walked in the door as I was dancing. And God is saying, so it shall be in the natural. You already know what I said. There's no need for him to knock or announce his entrance. The knock has been God chilling your spirit and confirming in so many ways that it is coming. It is here. Be ready and be prepared. So when it happens, it's going to appear somewhat sudden. Although you knew about it, he didn't knock. In this dream, this brother walked in like he owned the spot. And I was so there for it. So you need to be ready. Be prepared because it's going to happen any day now. And when he entered you all, I noticed that he was carrying a gift bag. Y'all, he came bearing gifts. Before I go into the gift part of the dream, let me touch on something else. This is the part I want you to pay close attention to and hear what the Lord is saying via the Spirit. When he walked in and I was just like, oh wow, here he is. I was excited. I was so excited, but in that moment, I thought, oh wow, I'm sweaty because we were dancing, dancing in this dream. And I just felt like, okay, I have to be sweaty. And there was no way in tarnation that I wanted to greet this man, my boo, this long awaited gift, if I was all sweaty. And at that point, I recall in the dream that I ran out of the living room into the bedroom to find me a clean shirt to put on. I mean, I just left this man in the living room while I went to go find another shirt. Mind you, for whatever reason, I could not find another shirt. And as I asked God to just reveal to me what he was trying to say, he said, that represents our insecurities. That represents our feelings in regards to his divine timing. Some of us, this is for a specific group of women, some of us have dealt with things in our mind that may have hindered us from receiving this promise. It may have had to do with physical things about ourselves, 
location, status, finances, whatever. There are things that we've allowed to get in our head and cause us to think and question if this is truly his divine timing. While we have prayed and are ready to receive this gift, our mind is tripping us up. Our mind is telling us we need to have A, B, and C in order. And God is saying, let that go. If I brought the promise at this time, if I'm bringing it at this time, fall back. Let my grace step in. Let me do what I have said I was going to do. Your spiritual health is why this is indeed the appointed time. It is why he is indeed coming for you. It is indeed why this is your Kairos moment because you are where I wanted you to be spiritually. This is specifically for those who God is speaking to me now and is showing me and revealing to me through this dream that we're allowing certain things to hinder what he's trying to do because we're looking at it from a natural and a carnal perspective. When God is saying, no, 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 no. You are where I want you to be. Take your focus off of what your flesh is telling you. Your own mind is telling you and tap into me in the spirit. You are ready. God has given that man the grace to cover you. That man knows what God desires him to know concerning you. And he will cover you. He will protect you. And you don't have to worry about anything. Any of those insecurities or whatever it may be. Because he has the grace to cover you. To care for you. To love you. Trust God. Trust the one he chose for you. This is not about us. This is about what God is designed to do through you and this individual. The purpose and plan he has for you to. There is a divine reason in regards to why God is bringing you two together now. And he's wanting someone to hear this. Just follow God's lead. Trust what he's been saying and revealing to you in your private time together in the secret place. He's going to make sure that what you need to have in order is in order. And like I said before, he is more concerned about your spiritual health. Yes, he wants you to be prepared and comfortable when this person comes. You want to have yourself together. You know, you want to have yourself together. You don't want to be looking crazy. We can get over excessive about it and put a lot of focus on the wrong things. When God is saying, listen, if I said it was now, just prepare in the ways I've told you to prepare. That's why in the dream, I did not find the shirt because God wanted me and he wanted you all to be secure in where you were secure in who he has caused you to become secure in this person that you now are because of the process because of the refining because of the sweat the sweat is good the sweat is representative of what he has been doing in you and the work he's done to prepare you for your purpose for your spouse the sweat means you got a pretty good workout. You're ready. The funny thing about it, you all, is that in the dream, I don't even remember actually feeling sweaty. I just thought in my mind, I'm probably sweaty. Because I've been dancing, dancing. I'm probably sweaty. Hear that in the spirit, you all. It was all in my mind. I was talking myself out of receiving the blessing when the blessing had arrived, when God brought it. I was causing a delay. God had brought the blessing just as he had promised. And there I was feeling as if I wasn't ready. I had to go change my shirt. In that moment, I didn't see it as that. I thought I was doing the right thing. So what I'm hearing in the spirit is that a lot of us may not be aware that there are mindsets that we have. Things that we're doing that are showing we don't fully trust the process. We don't really feel like it's the right time, even though we want it to be the right time. There's some things that we have not been made aware of, and we need to just sit down with the Father and ask Him to show us our heart concerning some things so we can align. And what God revealed to me was Him standing there waiting for me was symbolic of your man waiting for you to align with what God said about you too. Align regarding the divine timing of your meeting to align in any way God has been speaking to you to align don't keep that man waiting in the living room God is ready to unite you two you are ready I think about that today is December 9th and the number 9 is symbolic of like finality of a thing completeness God has been using a lot of numbers to show us where we are in the spirit 
to show us we are in this kindless moment for meeting our future spouses and not just for that but so many other things he's been promising us and has appointed to take place in this time he's saying you are at the completion of a thing that season that prior season has ended you're entering your season of laughter this is that Kairos moment where you collide with the things that I've said I was doing in this hour. God is driving his point home. He's wanting us to know where we are in the spirit. That a lot of us have reached the completion of that past season where we were in the wilderness. God has said that part is over now. You are entering your promised land. Your land of milk and honey. A land of plenty. A land of answers. A land of rest. A land of resources. A land full of love. You have graduated. I also took note of the fact that when my future spouse walked in, I was dancing. I was dancing. And I thought about Ecclesiastes 3, 4. You know, that's a time to weep. That's a time to laugh. That's a time to mourn. That's a time to dance. And I almost lost it, you all. The fact that I was dancing when he walked in my door was representative of the season I was now in. I was in my dancing season. Y'all see how God ties things in? God is not playing with us and God wants to reveal to us what he is doing ahead of time. God wants us to know that we know that we know that what he said is what is so. We are in our dancing season. God is wanting you all to discern where you are. Do y'all feel the shift? You have got to feel the shift. He is bringing about these unions suddenly. Okay, back to the dream. So when I finally get my behind back in the living room to greet my husband, before I can even greet him, I notice he has a gift bag in his hand. And he hands me the gift bag. And as he hands it to me, it's kind of open. So I can see what's in there. And I see a blanket. I see a blanket and a card. Right away, I take notice that the card that's in the gift bag is not sealed. It's partially opened in a way that I can see the card inside. And as I ask God, God, why did you cause me to take note of the card being, you know, partially open? He said, because you have known for some time who this individual was. I have told you this was your future spouse. I have told you what I was doing. And I even told you that I was going to open up communication between you two. You've known these things from my heart, from my mouth, from my spirit. But now it is happening in the natural. And that card being partially open, it's representative of the fact that I had already built it to your spirit. But now it's here. It's in the natural. It's in your physical presence for you to be able to see for yourself. And he this promise this man is now here to express what your heart already knew the card represents communication you all your eye about did a backflip i almost did a backflip this communication was going to reveal to you his heart the things god had shared with him regarding you his desire for you his love for you all of that are y'all hearing this in the spirit? Some of you may have known who this individual was for some time. And you may have saw minimal or even no communication up to this point. Nothing. Silent. Crickets. And God is saying he's about to cause the communication lines to be open. And you already know where I'm going. I need you all to get excited. So after that, I asked God about the blanket. The blanket. God revealed that the blanket within that bag that he was presenting to you represented his desire to cover you. Y'all, let me let's take a moment. Whew. Are we ready to finish? I think we're ready. Him presenting this blanket was confirmation of him knowing who he was to you and who you were to him. He was now ready to be your covering to provide warmth, security, protection, and love. This man is coming with gifts. All the things that your heart seeks, your spirit seeks, and what God has always desired for you in regards to his divine choice. Is that not so beautiful? And even more, 
Blankets are my favorite gift of all time. I so enjoy a soft, snuggly blanket. So this was a win-win all around. And what God also revealed is that that gift bag in its entirety represents the man himself. It represents the man that now stands before you that God indeed prepared for you. And the contents of that bag is everything within that man that, like I said, God prepared for you. His heart towards you. The things God calls him to be for you. His gifts. The things he's going to add to you and to the relationship. How beautiful that as he is presenting his gift to you, God is presenting this gift to you. Y'all get what I'm saying? He's presenting himself to you, but it's overall a gift that God has his hand in and had everything to do with. This part of the dream is specifically for those whom God has revealed to you who your future spouse is. You know who they are. And he's wanting you to know that, yes, you were correct. Yes, it was them all along. In my dream, the man that walked through the door was the exact person that God had revealed to my spirit. I took note of the fact that I was not at all surprised. And that's where God needs us to be. He understands that there are and will be moments of uncertainty. Moments where because of things that may have hurt us, because of past disappointments, because of just things that did not turn out as we thought and getting involved with people who were not our person. Sometimes we struggle with, you know, is this really you, God? Right now, he is wanting you to take him at his word. Trust what he is saying to you. That is necessary. It is a must for where he has us. We have to be very careful that we are not being double-minded. I mean, if you find yourself kind of holding back with sharing things because you're like, am I really right? I don't want to look crazy if it don't turn out the way, you know, the, the way God said it to me. That's double-mindedness. And let me also stress, we are not supposed to be sharing such personal and sacred things with just anybody. I'm talking about when you're talking to maybe your accountability partner or your mentor or what have you, and you're kind of scared to just kind of just put your full weight on what God said, that's what I'm talking about. God wants us to trust that we heard him correctly. God has confirmed it to us in so many ways. Some of these confirmations, it's like, why are we still doubting God? Watch how you think. Is it double-minded? We have to get on the same page as the Lord. He is wanting to bring this thing about, but he is wanting us to align and to ensure that we are acting and speaking as if it is so. For those who have not yet been told or know who your future spouse is, this can pertain to you as well that it is about to happen. God's about to reveal to you who this person is. God's about to show you. And some are just going to be a matter of them just showing up. He may reveal to you via his voice, a dream, another person, or it may just be that person just approaching you. There's so many ways God does this, but he's wanting you to know that it is about to happen because it is the appointed time. They are coming to you with gifts, the gift of them and the gift of being your security, your warmth, your love, and your protection. They want to protect you. They want to protect your heart. So after the gift was presented, we found ourselves in a mutual embrace, meaning we both went in for an embrace, a hug at the same time. I remember it was kind of like this cute awkwardness. I wouldn't even call it awkwardness. I just call it newness because although we knew who each other were up until now, we hadn't been given the opportunity to spend time together. And I recall that as we embraced it felt really natural and really warm and I even recall him making a, like a gesture like hmm okay as if to say he was pleased with the you know the hug and what I heard in the spirit as it pertains to this hug was that that hug that mutual hug was that which was confirmation even more so for him he had been awakened he had heard in the spirit you know that this is your wife and by him coming to meet you, to greet you, to get you, whatever your situation is, and you embracing that, hmm, oh wow, okay, was his response to what God allowed him to feel and experience in that moment. 
what he received in that hug sealed what he needed to know. It was natural and spiritual colliding. And listen, that whole sweat paranoia thing was not even an issue because once we hugged in the dream, that was all she wrote. It was so. You couldn't tell us nothing else. At that point, I invited him to sit with me on the sofa. And what stood out to me in that moment is that as I invited him to do so, he quickly said, of course. Of course I will join you on the sofa. And it was done in a way to say, why would you question me wanting to? What other option is there? And as I thought about the sofa and us sitting on the sofa, God revealed to me, that that sofa and us sitting there represented our settlement. The mutual aligning of what God had desired for us in our connection and us coming together. It represented a place of comfort and a place of rest. We are at rest, we are in alignment, and we have come into our settlement of this thing. Y'all are hearing this? You are about to be united. You have come into alignment in the spirit realm and God is about to cause that alignment to meet you in the natural. That's what that sitting on the sofa represented. And God is using this dream to confirm to so many whom he has already spoken to regarding this issue. This is your pointed time. Your Kairos moment to meet your future spouse. Listen. God is repeating himself over and over again through a variety of avenues because he is wanting to stress that it is really here. He's wanting to totally eradicate any thoughts of doubt and he just loves us you all. He loves us just that much that he wants us to know what he's doing before he does it. If we are in intimate relationship with the Lord, he is forever and always revealing things to us before they happen. This approaching communication is going to reveal to you everything you have wanted to know. And in my dream, in this situation, it was a physical encounter. So for some of you, it's going to be a physical encounter. So be ready. For others, it may be a text message, a DM, you know, just whatever. Just be ready. Hallelujah. I'm stirred up, y'all. I'm stirred up. God is just so good. If we seek Him, y'all, I'm telling you, if we seek Him, seek Him. God is faithful to fulfill all the things that He's promised us. It is for His name's sake, and there's purpose in it, you all. So I pray this encouraged you. I pray this confirmed to those who was meant to reach that which God's been speaking to you. Take this back to the Lord. He will open it up to you even more that will speak to your specific situation. And I just want to let you know that I'm praying for you all. Thank you for trusting me to share what the Lord puts on my heart to share. Thank you for sharing your stories, for sharing testimonies. Thank you for trusting this platform to do so. I love you guys so much and until next time, be blessed.